How you doing, everybody? This is Robert Linehan with Saturday Down South. I'm here to discuss Kansas Lottery's announcement that the Sunflower State will be having a soft launch for its sports betting program on Thursday, September 1st at noon local time. A full launch in the state will take place on Thursday, September 8th before the start of the night's uh, NFL games. This is actually just months after Governor Laura Kelly signed the state's sports betting bill into law back in May. According to a Kansas Lottery spokesperson, the four state casinos and their online operating partners will only be required to take bets on the NFL, MLB, and college football during the September 1st soft launch. Uh, The spokesperson did say the operators would likely be offering more betting events than just those three during the soft launch, but they'll be the only three required uh, at that time. If the state does begin taking bets on September 1st, it will be the quickest state turnaround from a bill being signed into law to actually taking a bet. Kansas will only need about 74 days compared with Iowa's previous record-setting 95-day turnaround. By comparison, Maryland is still without online sports betting more than 456 days after its sports betting bill was signed into law. Uh, the state casinos have already already have several sports betting partnerships lined up. Uh, each casino will be able to partner with up to three online sports betting operators. The Boot Hill Casino and Resort has partnered with DraftKings and BallyBet. Kansas Star Casino has partnered with BetMGM and FanDuel. Hollywood Casino at Kansas Speedway has partnered with Barstool Sportsbook and FoxBet. And Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel have par- has already partnered with Kansas or Caesars Sportsbook and PointsBet. Casinos will also be able to partner with up to 50 additional locations, including professional sports franchises, to install sports betting kiosks at their facilities. Currently, the only professional sports franchise in the state is MLS Sporting Kansas City. The sports betting bill will levy a 10% tax on retail and online sports betting. The law is expected to bring in nearly $10 million annually in taxes, of which 80% will be earmarked to lure professional sports franchises to locate to Kansas. This means upwards of $8 million a year could be invested into the specialized attracting professional sports in Kansas fund. I mean, all that is well and good, but the bottom line is that Kansas will be able to start accepting bets on September 1st and will be able to fully launch its program on September 8th. Thanks again.